the normal ECG. In chest leads, we can notice that the R wave will start in V1 as very small rudimentary wave, and the reverse is S wave will be deep negative wave. So the ratio between R and S in V1 will be very low. Then as we go through the chest leads till we reach V6, this ratio will increase till the S wave will be absent in V6, and the R wave will be very high in V6. So this is called R progression and S regression. And this is an example of the normal ECG. As we see here, most of the limb leads are positive by their R waves except the AVR. In this example, we have the AVL also to the negative side, but at least its B wave is positive. But here, in AVR, B wave is negative, and we will know later the cause of all the negative deflections in AVR. And here also on the chest leads, the R S ratio is very low, and here the S wave became almost absent in V6, and the R is very high. The electrical axis and axis deviation. The term mean electrical axis therefore describes the general direction in the frontal plane to towards which the QRS complex is predominantly pointed. It is normally, as in some books, from minus 30 to 110, and in some other books, from minus 30 to 90. It is not a big deal. We will not go deep in this subject. We just will find together a simple method to detect normal and abnormal axis. Normally, it leads 1 and 2, 3, and AVF. The complexes are more to the positive side by their R waves, and normally, in AVR, the complex is more to the negative side by its QS or S wave. The normal axis. This illustration is drawing all the six limb leads. From them, we will decide and we will determine the axis, whether normal or abnormal. And if it is abnormal, is it right axis deviation or left axis deviation, as we will see later. This is lead one, as we said before pointing from the right to the left so it's looking that way and lead two like that lead three and this is AVL and this is AVR and this is AVF looking to the foot the normal electrical axis is illustrated here with this yellow sector from minus 30 to positive 90 and some books as we said to 110 so this is the normal axis of the heart. Now, if I asked you why AVR is showing negative deflections, because it is almost against the normal axis of the heart. As we said before, if the direction of the electrical activity of the heart, or if the electrical activity is directed towards the same direction of the lead, it will be illustrated as positive deflection. But if it is going against the direction of the recording lead, it will be recorded as negative deflection. So here in AVR, because it is almost against the electrical activity of the heart in direction, so it, it will show us negative deflections in B wave, in QRS complex, and even in T wave. It is almost the opposite of what you can see in lead 2, which is again almost in the same way or in the average or in the mean electrical axis. Here also in lead 1, because it is even included in the normal electrical axis of the heart, it is positive, lead 2 is positive, lead AVF is positive, lead 3, yes it is not included in the electrical axis, but it is not that far to show negative deflections. Now we will speak about axis deviation and we will start by the right axis deviation. This is the right and this is the left. So this normal electrical axis, if deviation happened that way, it will be right axis deviation. Let's see what will happen. This is mild right axis deviation. It was like that, then it deviates to the right side. What will happen here? Lead 2 is still positive. Lead AVF is still positive. Lead 3 became inside the electric axis, so it will remain as positive. 
if we are still far away from the electrical axis it will be negative but this one is the one that is deviated now from the normal electrical axis that's why it will be inverted it will show negative deflections that's why the first sign of right axis deviation will be negative lead one with more and more right axis deviation lead one will remain negative as it was in mild right axis deviation but here AVR is, is included in the electrical axis that's why it will show positive deflection so in mild right axis deviation lead one will be the only one which is negative and in severe right axis deviation AVR will show positive deflections but with preservation of the negative B wave this is very important because sometimes you will find lead one is inverted is negative and lead AVR is positive but the B wave will be upright in this case this is not right axis deviation this is a bad technique of performing the ECG the nurse or the ECG technician just inverted or exchanged the leads uh, or exchanged the electrodes now back to the normal axis again from minus 30 to 90 then we will speak about left axis deviation this axis deviation will move that way okay lead one will remain positive lead AVR will remain negative lead two positive lead AVF it is near the electrical axis but lead three became far from the electrical axis that's why it will start to be negative so the first sign of left axis deviation is a negative complex in lead three then more left axis deviation lead three it will remain negative as it was in mild deviation then now AVF was included to be negative also so lead three then AVF lead two it is still near from the electrical axis of the heart that's why it will remain positive till the axis deviation will be severe it will be inverted again so in severe left axis deviation lead three and lead AVF and lead 2 will be negative and lead 1 will remain positive so apart from the normal sequence of the ECG in normal ECG the sequence of ECG we will see lead 2 lead 3 then AVF but regarding the electrical axis the left axis deviation it will start by 3 then AVF then with severe left axis deviation lead 2 will be affected this is what we just said now in right axis deviation lead one will be inverted with more severe right axis deviation lead AVR will be, be upright but it was negative in the normal cases left axis deviation we'll find first lead three to be negative then with more left axis deviation lead AVF will be affected then with severe left axis deviation lead two will be inverted to be negative this is a simple popular method to detect the axis deviation but not to detect its degree by looking to lead one as we said before lead one will be the first lead that will be affected in right axis deviation and lead three will be the first lead to be affected in left axis deviation so if we talk both leads lead one and lead three we can detect the mild degrees of left axis deviation and right axis deviation so in normal cases both of them will be positive in right axis deviation lead one will be negative as we said before and lead three will remain positive and the left axis deviation lead three will be the one which is negative and lead one will be positive so this is a simple method just to detect either it is normal or or right axis deviation or left axis deviation this is an example here lead one the complex is negative so at least now there is right axis deviation let's look to lead three it is positive so this is right axis deviation at least now it is mild let's look to AVR it is negative as it should be so this is mild right axis deviation 
this is another example lead one here is here is here is positive so there is no right axis deviation let's look to lead lead three lead three is negative so this is left axis deviation let's comment on the degree of left axis deviation as we said before lead three then avf then two three is negative then avf is negative so there is more left axis deviation then lead 2 is also negative so there is more and more left axis deviation which is severe left axis deviation clinical significance of axis deviation right axis deviation it may be normal variant rvh can cause right axis deviation it can over or it can exaggerate the electrical activity of the right side of the heart in left posterior hemiblock lateral wall infarction sudden right axis deviation may be seen in acute pulmonary embolism left axis deviation in cases of LVH left ventricular hypertrophy left anterior hemiblock when associated with left bundle branch block however right axis deviation and the left axis deviation are not usually reflecting an underlying heart disease 